Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid, and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. Fucking idiot! Give me the fucking bike! Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. What is this shit? Are you all right? Uh come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I... I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. I mean, I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too. This kid, with, I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. Uh, no. Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, and if it's not by choice, you know, I just, my life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? How does that make you feel? Everyone makes mistakes. 
I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but... That's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute. That's the shot. I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this... I think... No, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. No, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> oh, boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business? I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest, for once? It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. 
Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? <sighs> There's been a radical shift in my fortunes, Doc. And I may have been a fat, miserable slob on a sun lounger, but at least that was my choice. You know? I mean, I made a mistake. A monumental mistake, a series of monumental mistakes. The house, stock market scam, jewelry store. And now, I'm playing gun thug for the FIB. Just to pass the time, you know, till Trevor figures out if he wants to kill me. Maybe my whole family. <laughs> out of control, no choice. These are things you tell yourself to justify your behaviors. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. The FIB is making me... Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. I just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. You listen to me, asshole. I never said I was perfect. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means... That's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Hello, Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc, not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> You know, a little up, a little down, Doc. So what about the problem areas? <sighs> okay, well, the things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're off. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. They won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richard's Majestic, and we're doing some work together <laughs> in the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. 
But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. I'm out in the desert now, Doc. My wife left me, my kids. Oh, Christ, we upset some guy, but that wasn't enough. We stole his wife. Now we gotta leave town. I'm living in a trailer with my psycho old buddy Trevor. He keeps killing people, Doc. I mean, you know, shit, me too, but... Ah, oh, Christ, things are just really fucked up again. You've gotta make more time for therapy, Michael. This is a major relapse. Any other violent outburst, Michael? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but... Mostly they've just been really bad days. They're doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Yeah, it's easy for you to judge, Doc. I had a tough childhood. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Ah, not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking life has been fucking fucked. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. All the garden needs is some love and affection. Just like my Trevor. Doc. Hey, it's me. Michael. Que pasa, amigo? Not good. Things have been pretty fucked up. You seem particularly confused, Mikey. Tell me why. <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. I've been really bad, Doc. But I'm suffering. I mean, I've lost everything that matters. I'm hanging with a maniac who's certain to kill me if the government doesn't do it first. I want my family back. Well, I want them to be different. And me to be different. The world would be different. Obsessing about the things we've thrown away is an easy avoidance technique. <sighs> you know, a little up, a little down, Doc. So what about the problem areas? Okay. Well, I'm back in Los Santos at least. You know, I had to leave town for a while after my family left me. But things were touch and go there, Doc. And there was a bank, train, chemical weapons facility. <sighs> Government. Trevor, they just keep asking me to do this crazy shit. And it escalates. It's gonna keep on escalating, too. Until I'm dead, or I've killed everyone on the fucking planet. Jesus. But... Now I'm back in the city. And I'm back in touch with the moving guy. God, I hope my way out. You can't say no, Michael. It's the most powerful weapon you've got. I've, I've been a mixed bag, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. <sighs> I've been doing some thinking. I put my feet up and I reflected. My feet were literally up on a fucking meat hook. You know, I think that did more for my mental health than all these years of therapy combined. I, mean, I know what I want now. <sighs> Trevor, he's on to me. That's fine, though. You know, it was bound to happen sooner or later. What I want, what I want is I want my family back. I want to make something. I don't want nobody owning me. I'm paying the last of my debt stock, and I'm starting over again. That sounds like a breakthrough, Michael. You needed time to reflect on the work we've done together. Don't undervalue the benefit of these sessions. Have you acted out in any other ways. I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit and I hurt people and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Did I ever claim to be a saint? 
I fucked up. So fucking what? Okay, okay. Anything else? What about sex, Michael? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but in the last few days, it's been a lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. So, hey, you know, as you can see, I'm kind of doing better. You know? Not perfect, mind you, but better. The thing is, Michael, <laughs> You know me. I'm not a sugar coder or a script writer. I mean, we tried a full range of pharmaceutical solutions a couple of years ago, and that went nowhere we want to go back to. Agreed? Agreed. I ain't doing that again. Pissing myself, crying, sleeping in dinner, and howling in the middle of the night. Fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe we got the doses a little wrong. You're going to have to get yourself under control. Listen, next time we meet, perhaps we should meet back at my office. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid face-to-face -face sessions have got a little more expensive. I thought you said phone sessions were more expensive. Well, they were, but I realized that wasn't fair, so I raised the price on face-to-face. -face. I'm sure you understand. And if you don't, maybe you should. Be well. I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? Why? Is there a family that needs therapy? Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess you need yoga. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. <gasps> Fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gotta come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, today's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead. Ah, 
because I'm no longer useful to him. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof. So maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Well, actually, you know, I mean, now that I think of it, I'm great. Could not be better. That Trevor problem disappeared completely. Wiped off the face of the planet. A couple of investments came through. I can finally get out of the game, you know? I dissolved those contacts. I mean, maybe there's a few people still pissed at me. That investor guy, maybe. I don't care. Got my eyes open. I'm gonna start making plays in the movie business. Movie people, Doc, they get me. That's all I'm looking for, is mutual respect. That all sounds fine, but I sense you're not telling me how you really feel. You know what, Doc? I'm okay. Things have finally come together for me. I mean, I made a bunch of money, and most of those guys that wanted me gone, they don't want nothing no more. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna pretend that my life's not still a mess. I mean, I know I still got a long way to go. You know, with my family, my friends, my aspirations. I mean, I know I've done a lot of bad things, Doc. I told a lot of lies. But, Doc, I'm hopeful. Oh, uh, mm. don't hide behind hope, Michael. Hope is the enemy of hard work. Any other acting out friend? Tell me. I happen to feel I'm making real progress, Doc. No major acting out. Well, not too much. I had a, you know, a freak out or two, but hey, I'm feeling better. Remember, Michael. Denial is the cornerstone of relapses. You're not a well man. I want to be good, Doc. I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. What the fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous! <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. Stop and think about it! Deep breaths. Calm. Calm. My name is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander, PhD. I want us working together. <laughs>